Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to season number eight here in the Long Beach State Dynasty. We start off this year coming off of back to back national champions and top recruits in the nation, starting in the middle with DT Johnson, the big man. He was a number three overall recruit. Eric Carlos is at the four. He returns for his sophomore season. Steve Jenkins returns to the starting lineup, and he hit the weight room and hit the three-point line in the offseason as he improved his three to an 80 rating. And David Gill joins the starting lineup, a sharp shooter for us, but who everybody's watching out for, Anthony Madison, the number one overall recruit in the country. He's coming in. It's going to be a packed house, 96 three-point field goal. They're comparing him to a blend of John Wall and Stephen Curry. Now, this is going to be an interesting matchup here. We take on number seven Clemson. This is a very good Clemson team. A lot of people are picking them to win the national championship already in the preseason. This is a very, very deep team, and they're pretty actually young. They have one senior in the starting lineup, and that is Boaz Odom, who is their point guard. So here we go, season eight. Let's get it underway. DT Johnson does win the opening tip-off, and here is Anthony Madison, one of the most exciting freshmen in high school a year ago, number one overall recruit. Let's see what he does with the ball. Here he gets to the Carlos at the free throw line. Carlos posts up. And let's see what he does. Pass over DT Johnson and it one under the hoop. Hits off of the front rim. So we miss our first shot of the game. LBSU is number one preseason ranked in the country. And there is Anthony Madison with the block. DT Johnson runs the other way. Back to Madison for the three. It is good. What a way to start season number eight with a three point shot from the number one overall recruit in the country. It's a missed shot that time by Colin Brinkman, the junior, as here comes Steve Jenkins the other way. He's going to be very, very crucial for this team, and he's going to be a leader this year. Here's the corner shot from David Gill, and he knocks it down. It's 6-0 here, number one versus number seven. We are at home defending national champions as well as Clemson gets started on the board. So here they are working it inside, back outside, a jump shot by Odom, he misses. But offensive rebound, and that is dunked by Justin West, one of the best juniors in the country. So 6-4 game now, working it outside. It's Madison again for a second three of the game. 9-4 lead here for LBSU. Madison looking good shooting the ball. He's playing some good defense too. Carlos corrals it as here he goes coast to coast, throws one up, and he gets it to go in traffic. Carlos is a triple-double threat every single game, and he gets that one to go in transition. And now it's a 11-4 game as they do knock down that two. And here comes Clemson. A couple of shots. That one's missed. That was DT Johnson on the rebound. He is a number three overall recruit in the nation. But look at Carlos. He goes all the way, and he gets the lefty layup. And it's now 13-8. So here's a pass inside, Johnson under the hoop, and he gets his first bucket to go. LBSU has started out hot here on offense. So here is the senior Odom. He passes to the corner, and it's knocked down. Doug Shivers gets it to go. He's one of the best sophomores in the nation. So here they are working it inside. A missed shot this time, offensive rebound, and that's Justin West on the offensive board, and that's going to be a foul on Steve Jenkins. And now here comes West to the free throw line. And let's see what he does. This is a very, very even matchup here in the opener. Clemson, like I said, is picked to be one of the best teams in the country. And my prediction is that they will be a number one seed. They are that good. And it's a two-point game early on. So they do make a couple of substitutions this time. It's a deflection, and they get the uh, nice corral that time. Odom gets it in the middle. And now it's 15 up. So Clemson comes all the way back. Here is Steve Jenkins on the wing. He gets it ripped away. Here comes Clemson the other way, playing good defense. And here is Colin Brinkman with the ball at the top, passing around another deflection, but they pick it up and throw it down. And Clemson is on a 9-0 run. You already see, we have the hands active, a lot of deflections, but Clemson is just coming on the opposite end of them. But here is the freshman Madison. He goes coast to coast and a foul on Odom. As Madison goes to the free throw line, he has six points already. That big block 
that led to his first buckets of college, and he gets the first free throw, and the second one will be just short, and Clemson goes the other way off of the rebound. So Madison has seven points to start off this game. Here's a pass to the wing. Odom inside, and that is a great pass to Brinkman. He has it under two feet. And now it's 19-16, to 16, a three-point game. So here's Brinkman once again getting the pass from Odom, and he just throws it up and gets the foul call on Steve Jenkins. That's his second call foul of the half. And now we're down by four. Here is Nick Miles who checks in to the outside, and it's blocked. DT Johnson trying to get a... Deep mid-range two on that one, and it's blocked. And here comes Clemson the other way. Here we are sending some double teams, but it's not going to work. They work it all the way around, and that's West again. He's got eight points. So down by six now as our bench is partially in the game. Carlos is still in. Here's a corner three, and it's knocked down. Nick Miles, Carlos on the assist. And now it's back to a three-point game, 22-19. Clemson shooting well, though, 10 of 15 on that shot. And now it's 24 to 19, Clemson has the lead. But here they are playing some great defense. Odom gets the steal, he goes the other way, and it's inside, missed, but offensive rebound by West. Back up to a seven point lead, the biggest lead of the game so far. So Clemson is on a run this time. They are out rebounding us 11 to two. Pass inside to West again. It gets through the defense and it's up to a nine point game. Clemson cannot be stopped here on offense. They have hit everything, got every rebound, but we finally catch a break. This is Steven Omens, and he gets called for the offensive foul. 28-19 this time, DT Johnson in the post. He's going to pass it around, and that is Dominique Kirkland with the throwdown. You forget about the other freshman that comes off the bench, the big man. He comes in and throws it down over two defenders. That will get our offense going. And now it's a seven-point game. And back the other way, there is a jump shot. Clemson just cannot miss. They are 13 of 19 to start this game. So here they are playing some full court pressure. I don't know about that one. That one looked like an obvious foul call. DT Johnson didn't get it, though. And Clemson goes the other way and hits the bucket. It's an 11-point lead here for Clemson. They are absolutely dominating. But there is a dunk inside, and that is DT Johnson, the freshman, for his first notable points. And now it's 32 to 23, deflected. But Clemson somehow picks it up and gets the layup, and it's back to a 11-point lead. 18 points in the paint for Clemson, shooting 71%. Here is DT Johnson in the lane, and he can't get it to go. Clemson is dominating so far on the offensive end of the floor as here's a pass to the corner this is Anthony Madison and he gets going back to a 10 point lead he's got 10 points of his own so here they are with three minutes left pass inside they get a foul call and an and one on Dominique Kirkland the freshman and wow Clemson is just getting everything to go their way here in the first half so now down by 13 here is Eric Carlos he misses the open three Offensive rebound, here they go the other way. This is a pass up to Kirk, that's actually up to uh, Brinkman and he does get the foul call, Ace Jenkins off the bench. And now it's 40 to 26, missed free throw. Here comes Carlos the other way. Let's see what he does, nice crossover, pass to left side. It's Kirkland and he gets it to go. Dominique Kirkland has four points off the bench. He's a true freshman big man to watch out for. As now Clemson goes the other way though, they can't miss. This time it's Shivers. It's just crazy what they are doing in this game. They cannot miss. There is a three point shot missed by Anthony Madison, but he plays some defense of his own hop step off of the steal and it's good. There is the dynamic playmaking of Madison. That time he does it on the defensive end, but here comes Shivers the other way, a three. 47 to 32. Clemson is just having one of those historic halves here. As here is a pick and roll out to the wing. That is Gill, and he misses. And here comes Clemson the other way. They're going to have to heave it all the way up the court. They do. Shivers has actually a nice look, and it is off. 47 to 32 here in the first half. Clemson is just doing their thing here, and they're up by a lot. So here we start the second half. Clemson shooting well over 60% in this game. Here is a transition layup, and that is good. Anthony Madison at least gets us going. But this 
lead will not go away. Here's a jump shot. Good. Odom hits it. 17-point lead, the biggest lead of the game. So here is Madison pushing it up the court. They're setting the double team. Adam this time. He passes it inside. DT Johnson with the two-hand throwdown. It's now a 15-point game. So 13 minutes left. We have plenty of time to come back in this one. Let's see if we can play some defense, though. Here is Jenkins taking it up the court. To the corner. It's Madison open three. Such a good three-point shooter. He could go down as maybe even breaking the threes record, but back the other way. Clemson with the alley-oop. They are just playing with us at this point. A reverse alley-oop dunk thrown down. I've never seen that in this game. And it's 53 to 41 now. Here is Shivers. Open three. It's good. It's now back to a 15-point game. This lead will just not go away. So here's a pass inside. Deflected, and they get it. That's just the type of game this has been. Every single deflection, every single loose ball, they have been getting it. They've been hitting every shot with a hand in their face, wide open, whatever it takes. They are just getting everything, and this lead will just not go down. Every time we hit a shot, they get one right back. So here we are in transition. This time it's going to be a miss by Carlos, and here comes Clemson the other way. They're looking to pass it up the court, and here they stop at the three-point line, pass inside, and it gets around our defense and a dunk. 63 to 48 and now here we are driving the lane with Steve Jenkins that's missed but DT Johnson finally gets an offensive board and he has been out rebounded in this game by a wide margin he has five of his own but he is getting dominated here in his first game here DT Johnson hits the first of two and he is just a freshman he's gonna learn and honestly this might be a good wake up call from him because he is going up against Two of the best big men in the country and Steven Omens and Justin West, who is honestly Justin West is going to be one of those guys that's contesting for player of the year. He's that type of player. So 65-49 this time here is Doug Shivers, and he throws one up, and he gets it to go. Hits it in one over Ace Jenkins playing some defense. That's actually Dominique Kirkland, the freshman, and Shivers has 17 points in this one. Make it 18 on that free throw. So six minutes to go now. Here's Odom, and he just runs past Miles. I don't know what was going on in that play. We had the man right in front of us, but somehow they get to the lane. It's a 21-point game here for Clemson. Uh, I mean, honestly, a good wake-up call for this LBSU team. You can't take any team lightly regardless of your ranking. We came into the season preseason ranked number one, but Anthony Madison is not disappointing. Here's a step back three, and he gets it to go. 16-point deficit still, but I got to admit, Anthony Madison is impressive. He is so good at creating his own shot, and maybe even in the future he has no assists in this game so far. He knocks down a three. That is Steve Jenkins who's open. But Anthony Madison has been impressive so far on the offensive and defensive end. He already has a block early and a couple of deflections. Jenkins in the corner, and he hits another one. It's a 13-point game, but it might be just a little bit too late. Now under a minute to go. We send the double team, and there's a fadeaway three. And knocked down. Doug Shivers. This is how you know it's your game. He gets the pass, doesn't even look at the hoop, turns around and shoots it, and it's nothing but net. And Clemson will go on to win this game 82-68. to it was just a dominant performance. Here is Steve, uh, is Ace Jenkins off the bench. He passes it to Dominique Kirkland, and they end up winning this one by 12. At one point, it was a 21-point lead for Clemson, and we just could not keep up. Doug Shivers had 21 with that amazing fadeaway three, not even looking at the bucket. But how about Anthony Madison in his debut? 28 points for the freshman. He lived up to the hype. I think DT Johnson will come around. He's still one of the best freshman big men in the nation, and he's seven foot one. You're not going to be able to hold him down for long. Could you imagine what it would have been like with DT Johnson and Solomon Teixeira? It just would have been all types of length on the inside. David Gill only had three points in this game, but he actually didn't play bad defense. Uh, he did have four assists, but he did not shoot well at all. One for nine from the field, one of eight from three. Madison was spectacular, though, 28 points. Zero assists, though. You got to set up your guys more. He's going to learn with time. But I got to say, this Clemson team, I wouldn't be surprised if we faced them in the NCAA tournament. 
if we make it there again. Dominique Kirkland had six points off the bench. He was pretty good as a freshman. Justin West had 16. Doug Shivers wasn't being guarded by Gill the whole game, but he when he was got some switches on defense, that's when he took advantage. He had 21, 6, and 4. And then their big man West had 16 and 14. So we will play against Gonzaga next. Remember, Gonzaga used to be in our conference, and we used to be really big rivals to them. It was kind of the trio, Pepperdine, Gonzaga, and LBSU. So here we play them again here to open the season. Here's a three right away. Knocked down Steve Jenkins with about four minutes to go. Now it's a five-point game. So here's Carlos back outside to Jenkins. Jenkins to Madison. It's off, but offensive rebound. There is the freshman, D.T. Johnson. He gets fouled by Bubba Joe. And now it's a three-point game, two minutes left. Here's a nice drive by Carlos inside to D.T. Johnson. And he gets the hook to go off the glass, 72 to 67 now. About a minute and a half left. Here comes Johnson pushing it up the court. He's handling the ball a little bit, working it inside. This is Carlos in traffic, and he draws the foul. And he's going to go to the free throw line and hit one of two, 73 to 67. But here is Madison now with about a minute left. Look at the defense. You've got to love what he's doing so far on the defensive end this year. You know he can score. Here's a pass to D.T. Johnson. It's good. Now an eight-point game. LBSU just ends up killing it there in the last four minutes of the game stretching it to a nine point lead and we end up taking this game home and we do bounce back from that big opening uh loss to clemson and how about dt johnson in this game he had 27 and 19 so that was a dominant performance by him the freshmen really do dominate Eric Carlos, 9, 8, and 4. Four blocks, that is. That is just insane stat line. How about Steve Jenkins? He's going to be so good this year. This the stat line so even, 12, 6, 4, and 3. And then Anthony Madison had 15 points and 11 assists. That's a good bounce back game distributing the ball for him. So the next two games we do face Michigan State. We end up beating them by 9. And then Georgia Tech, we end up doing the same thing, beating them by eight Madison had a good game versus them 19 and nine and DT Johnson started to score a little bit he had 37 points in the next game Steve Jenkins followed it up with a 21 point game as well he's starting to shoot the three ball a lot better this year three of seven from the three-point line and I like what I see from him. What, what I like what I see from him this year. Steve Jenkins is remember he's six six, but he's got some long arms. He can play pretty much every position on the floor except for center. So we're gonna see what this season is gonna look like for him. But it's gonna be very very interesting to see how this group meshes together. I think they honestly complement each other really really well. So we start out the season three and one. We actually lose that number one ranking after that number uh, after that first game loss versus Clemson, and Clemson moves up a little bit. My next episode will be interesting because remember we faced Princeton in the final, actually the Sweet 16 last year, and they had a very good team, a lot of seniors. But one thing that we left out is that they recruited the number two overall prospect. So not number one, not Anthony Madison, but number two in Ben Bates. But they have better training, so he's up to a 91 overall. It's just going to be interesting to see him in action. So that will be the Maui Invitational, and we get to play in that tournament for the third straight year. So I'm looking forward to that. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of the team. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm about my plaid. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit. They're like fall leaves in the backfield. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace. I'm so after school special. She brainy but them jeans looking like.